that we are in front of Leonard Joel's in uh, 39 Queen Street in Wallara, Sydney. And uh, we are talking about Yossi Bergner's. When he turned 90, uh, he decided to start to do sculptures. Now, I'm not sure that Yossi, uh, he doesn't know why he started to do sculptures, but till the age of 90, he used to say, I'm a painter, I'm not an artist. And uh, suddenly he started to, to do sculptures, which is amazing. And the source of his sculptures are obviously his paintings and the images of his paintings from the 60s. Uh, he's still doing his experiments. And there is no such thing And this is the final. Well, this is the final for now. Maybe tomorrow it will be another. another. So let's go in and uh, see some sculptures and we'll talk about it. Let's go. As you can see, uh, Yossel's uh, the faces, um, they are taken from a few sources, just as a source of uh, 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 Coptic, they were the ancient Egyptians, the Christian Egyptians, and uh, when they did the Madonna paintings, Yossel loved these faces that they did, and this is one source. Uh, the other one is an artist called Delvaux, which is an early 20th century artist. Uh, the Yidl with the fiddle, that there is a the Jew with the, uh, with the Jew with a violin, and it has the goat and uh, a small suitcase. It's Stekel, which represents the Jewish quarter in the city in Poland that Yossi came from and uh, loved to paint. I decide to start uh, with this one because uh, the topic will be the butterfly. Now, all these sculptures are based on Yossi's paintings from the 60s. In those days, uh, Yossi did a whole series called the Butterfly Eater. The idea of the butterfly, butterfly represents idea, and the people that eat butterflies are the idea, idealists. So this one is called the Dreamer, as you can see, he's holding this butterfly, which is the idea. And um, I'll show you a few more. Called the butterfly rubber, like this, and she's holding the butterfly here, and the rose. Actually, this one is, he just got the rose from him, as you can see, this is the idea of her. He gave her the rose, but she still has this butterfly, which is this uh, symbolic of her uh, idea.
a matter, uh, another take of the idea of two people sitting, uh, one is sitting on the other one's shoulder. And uh, as I said, this is uh, another one-off, that he holds, this one holds a kite or some sort of a mask. It's always this sort of ambivalent, what is it? And obviously it's a drama. And this symbol that goes through, you can see this is this half an echo. And the uh, maquette or the small piece of a huge one that is two meters um, high in Haifa, which is represent the uh, a good neighborhood between uh, Jews and Arabs. And it was erected just recently. Uh, Yossel and Dan Gallery that represents him in Israel. Uh, donate this to the people of Haifa, which is a mixed uh, city. Uh, Arabs and Jews are living together in so in harmony. And uh, this, this holding a butterfly as well in his hand. Just from a, a logistic point of view, uh, Yosu did butterflies in each one. This is from edition of nine, but each one has a little bit different, different butterfly standing. This one is stand this way and others, they are holding the butterfly differently. This is the third one that you have the wooden balls, obviously. Just the idea of wooden walls carved in bronze, just you can see the, uh, the so-called small joke about it. And uh, this one is the idea of father and son, which is an idea that he also works quite a lot. I don't know if I've noted, I've mentioned, but uh, uh, nine of the pieces in this exhibition are one-offs, which is, uh, it's not just limited edition, but it's a unique state that he also tried this exact image and he decided to, uh, uh, to put it in bronze and eventually he did other things but exactly the same um, sculpture there is just one and all of them coming with certificate of authenticity that mentioned that this is a unique state and on the actual sculpture it's written one out of one as you can see Shine, the 
Kite runner, and it's interesting that Yossi did it this year. This specific one started his life as a person with a violin, and then Yossi transferred this one to a kite runner. Just interesting, interesting enough that uh, this year or last year there was this Iranian movie. Was it Iranian movie that was based on? Uh, a book from a few years ago about the kite runner. So obviously this one is coming to the idea of something fragile and the kite itself. And it's, it's amazing to see this kite on this rope, which is as you can see. So can you see that it's, uh, it's dangling around? He also did the image of uh, this, this cute girl, and she was holding the uh, stone as a balloon. And he had the previous uh, take on this, that the work from edition of five, no artist proofs. And uh, as you can see, maybe uh, you'll see that she's in the air, she's just starting to float. And the whole idea is that this, this uh, stone has to be heavy, takes it up. It's again the same idea of uh, this is part of his tour in this period that he did, he also did in the 60s. So this is uh, probably the biggest piece that we have in Australia. which is the same good deeds that a person has to do, 613, please don't count because you'll probably find a different number. And on the other end, his other hand, he has this rose. Uh, and uh, I won't explain it because it's obvious and each one will be able to have the interpretation for himself, for herself. And, uh, it's a beautiful piece, one-off, uh, unique state, and uh, that's it. Okay. The next piece is called Veronica. Veronica is a Christian saint that uh, during the time of Jesus, when Jesus walked in the Via Dolorosa uh, to his last destination, uh, there was a lady that held a cloth and she went with this cloth and she wiped Jesus' face and uh, by miracle his uh, image of his face came on the cloth and she became a very important saint, a lot of paintings were done during history of this topic of Veronica. Soll ihr Teufel Harze 
macht Männer lechein. Euer der Ruhm mit los nicht Ruhe, singen mir ein Lied. Seh's nicht du, kein Biss und Brauchen, lass mir trinken Mai. Mai im Chai. 